everybody, Ronnie here. Thanks for joining us again on more about The Walking Dead Call to Arms. What drew me to The Walking Dead, like a moth to a light bulb, was the fact that this IP, this property, did not have two armies fighting. It had lots of lots of gangs interacting, which creates an interesting game mechanic because you've got different groups with different sets of equipment. And boy, does this have it in spades. The 192 issues, you've got Rick, early Rick in the Atlanta, you know, late Rick, post-Alexandria. You've got the Kingdom, night, you know, knights riding around. You've got Negan with fully SMG'd up kit. You've got the Woodbury crowd. You've got the Whisperers, silent, close assassin guys. Great mechanics for us to write different, interesting ways to play. If you back the Kickstarter, you've got a beautiful range of miniatures. I don't know if you've been on my Facebook recently, but I've been obsessed morning, noon and night, building up waves three and four, which I never got around to even taking home. I've been painting them. This range is beautiful. A lot of you already have them. Those that don't will want to add one or two figures. And it's a stunning range, beautiful range of miniatures, a joy to paint. This setting, 20 by 40, eight figures, where you already know the background, is, I think, the perfect opportunity for the post-apocalyptic um, uh, skirmish game. We all like skirmish games because none of us have enough time anymore to paint 200 figures and we're time poor. We're space poor. But you can make a beautiful setup by here. This is actually quite a big battle. You'd stop here and you're going to be able to thrash it out. The scenarios are super exciting because we've got a condensed space. You've got getting off, grabbing supplies, grabbing those scarce resources, creating interesting victory conditions. Finally, everything you've got in your range all the way through from if you picked up the starter set, you're up, you're playing, you've got some guys in there through to if you bought Negan, you've got Negan's gang. All the miniatures across the whole range are all compatible. So the two years we've taken to release the Walking Dead range means that now we're launching the skirmish game, dip into the range, pick your favourite characters, have a throwdown, away you go. So we are super excited by the call to arms. I think there is nothing in the uh, post-apocalyptic skirmish space that dominates. This should be it. Everybody, in between your games of an undisclosed sci-fi game. Your tournaments, play something decent. Oops, sorry. Play something fun. Play some rough apocalyptic. It's an hour to play. And if you want to give it a try, the rules are free online. Please join us. The Walking Dead Call to Arms. That's where it's happening.